Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Certainly appreciate y'all taking time out of your day to pay me a visit. It's Sunday, December 13th. I'm out at Three Oaks Recreational Area. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been out here. Um, the last time I was out here, this place was incredibly flooded. Um, it looks like it's come back down to normal levels. Um, this might actually be my first time out here this year. I really don't remember. Uh, if I ever came out here normally in the spring is when I kind of hit this area. Um, but we're going to see if we can't find any pike or smallmouth today. Um, got jerk baits, drop shot, and blade baits. So between those three, hopefully we'll find something. It is unfortunately pretty windy out, so... Uh, Hopefully the wind noise won't be too bad for us. All right, well, we're gonna try this uh, west shoreline first here. It's kind of a, a peninsula area. Um, it's kind of a shallow flat caught some nice pike off of this spot um, with this colder conditions I'm expecting more pike than bass uh, if I catch anything so hopefully we'll find something we're gonna start out with the uh, the blade bait and then switch over to the drop shot this water is actually almost low from the looks of it All right, guys, I got a fish. That certainly feels like a good one. We're gonna have to free spool this over <laughs> to the beach. Let's hope we don't lose it big whatever it is. I wonder if it's a snag carp. Could be a pike. I really don't think this is a bass. coming up whatever it is yeah, it looks I didn't really get a good look at it why it's fighting it feels like a snag
I just want to see what it is. That's all I'm curious about. Yeah, that's... I snagged something. I can't tell what that is. I think I snagged a pike. Yeah, that looks like a pike. Sorry, buddy. That is a fat fish. Holy cow. All right, buddy, let's help you out here. All right. This is really not an ideal solution. Don't bash your head. Come on. That's a big pike. Wow. That is one fat fish. All right, girl. I will see you later. Thank you for playing. Come on, swim out. Swim. Swim. I really don't want to have to go all the way out there for you. Come on. There you go. Thank you. I really didn't want to get my feet wet. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, let me know your opinion. A snagged fish, a snagged game fish, I should say, like that pike. Does it count as a catch? Yes or no? Think about it. And then I'm going to give you my thought process on this. Okay, so I'm throwing a blade bait. Literally, it sits on the bottom and you, you jig it up and you let it fall down. So to me, the question is, did the pike show an interest in the blade bait and just inadvertently get snagged because he wasn't willing to commit? Or he did commit and he missed it and then I snagged him on the upswing. To me, I snagged him in the tail. So to me, I probably did not actually catch that fish. I don't think he actually was interested in this. I think he was just in the wrong place in the wrong time. If I had caught him closer to like the front half of the body, I would probably count it as, as a catch. Um... Ideally, I would have just actually caught him. But, man, I tell you, you guys can probably see how cold my hands are just by how red they are. I'm going to go make a few more casts. Because if you got fish like that swimming around, um, blade bait's a good bait for them. So, maybe we'll actually go legitimately catch one. But, man, it's, with this wind, it is really cold, so I'm probably not going to last much longer. Some of you might be asking why uh, I went over there. Uh, well, obviously the snag, you know, but that was before I knew it was a snag. I kind of had an inkling uh, feeling that it was a snag by the way that he was fighting. But even still, you know, I'm elevated right now, like probably eight feet off the ground. If I catch like a one or two pound bass, I don't mind heave hoeing them up eight feet but um anything bigger you gotta kind of go beach land them so um and you know this this platform is really nice but over there it's really obviously flat and shallow but you can kind of tell by the way that shoreline is there's a big point that comes out in shallow uh there's deeper water right out in front of this there's really no good way to get over there except going all the way back over to where I w just was and walk the shoreline 
which I don't really want to do that. So that's that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for us today. Um, as much as I hate snagging fish, uh, I'm glad I snagged into that pike. It felt a whole lot better than snagging into the, the gizzard shad uh, that I snagged into on the fox on my last trip. So um, I really do wish I legitimately caught uh, that pike. Um, when you get pike that large, um, I don't mind you know catching them. It's those really small snake ones that are uh, more of a hassle to deal with. Anyway, uh, it's supposed to be really nice at some point this week. Um, I might get out a few more times. Um, you know, it's mid mid December, and uh, the weather has been pretty nice to us. Um, so I think we still got a bit more time before everything completely ices up. Uh, all the ponds are still iced up uh, as of today, but uh, I think by the end of this week, everything's going to be ice free again. So. Uh, who knows what, what we'll do. So, um, anyway, I will uh, see you all in the next video and thanks for sticking with me.